Okay, so still on my way back, I've got like this huge stretch of like 500 miles. I'm at like 400 miles now, or 420-ish. Um, but I, I thought I could use this time to tell a story. Story time with Melted Gore. That was lame. Uh, so, I wanted to talk about when we went to Florida. Um, <laughs> we went to Florida while I was down here because it was only like two hours away to Jacksonville. Um, and we went to Jack's because there was a Dave and Buster's there, which was sweet. And, um, you know, then from there it was only like 30 minutes to Atlantic Beach. And Atlantic Beach was sweet. But anyway, so we went down to Jack's, stayed at a hotel, which was literally right across the street from Dave and Buster's, which was awesome. And it was super cheap. I did a vlog on there that says my trip to Florida. Um, and that was that was awesome. Um, we stayed in the hotel, walked over to David Buster's. It was sweet, um, very cool. So we went to David Buster's, and <coughs> uh, we spent quite a bit of time there. We had some. We went there, had some drinks, had some food, played a shit ton of games, had a ton of tickets. We were winning jackpots left and right like no joke it was ridiculous um sean won a bunch on the ball dropping thing we have to get like all 50 balls into the different cups within a certain amount of time um i won a bunch on the coin things where you have to like press the button and the the thing spins and the coin has to land on jackpot i won on those like all the time and we won the balloon popping thing which was really cool um I won a crane game, which is sweet. Nothing like a little Futurama, so that was awesome. And uh, so <clears throat> I won that the next day, because the next day we had our tickets left over. We had a little bit of credits, and we felt like we wanted to play a little bit more. So we woke up, checkout was 11. Dave and Buster's opens at 11. Um, so that was really neat. I was surprised at how early they opened. Um, so that was really cool. So, uh, we went back, <clears throat> we went back in the morning, Sean lost his card, his Dave and Buster's card, with like all of his tickets and credits and all that stuff on it. That was a scary time. Luckily, he was able to, um, fuck, this fucking car sorry about that if I wasn't on my phone I would edit that out okay so Sean lost his card with all of his tickets and credits on it, which was a really scary time because that had like, we were, we were combining all of our tickets um, together to get like one really cool thing. And um, he lost his, which had like 6,000 on it, 6,000 tickets, um, or maybe seven, six or 7,000. Um, and then I had my, I had two cards um, and uh, between mine, I had like 6,000 or so. Um, so we finished that up. I won the, the crane game. And then we had like 12,000, um, 12,007 or 12,800 total tickets. And <clears throat> so with that, um, we decided to combine them to get something cool and we were like the thing a little suck is we'll only have one thing and we'll have to decide who like gets to take it because I don't live there yet obviously and um, but we found one thing we really wanted pretty early on and it's right here oh 
Pokemon. Pokemon Monopoly, motherfucker. Yeah. Um, Pokemon Monopoly was what we got. Um, the really, the really kick-ass thing was it cost 5800 So we both got Pokemon Monopoly, which was really cool. Now, the thing that sucks is... The thing that sucks about it is the game isn't that expensive. And when you compare how much we spent on tickets and stuff, obviously... So that kind of sucks, but of course that's always going to happen. It was just cool to go play a lot of cool games and shit like that and walked out with something decent and we played that a couple times and it was really fun. Um, one thing that kind of annoys me is some of the Pokemon choices on the board. Like so Park Place and Boardwalk are uh, Nidoqueen and Nidoking, which I think is really stupid. I think it should have been like Mew and Mewtwo. And then the Water and Electric spots are Zapdos and Articuno. But they don't have Moltres on the board any, anywhere. Uh, which makes sense, I guess. Because there isn't, like, another single space that's not part of the Monopoly. All the railroads are Pokeball, so... There's Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, and Master Ball. Um, so those are the railroads. So it's really cool. They've got some really funny cards in there, too. Um, instead of Community, Chest, and Chance, there's uh, Professor Oak and Pokemon Trainer cards. Um, so that was pretty cool. But anyway, back to the story. We uh, both got those, which was really cool. Um, really cool. I still had mine open, uh, not open. Yeah, we played his. But uh, uh, just because it was easier because I have to drive back with mine, and I didn't want to lose pieces. Plus, we mine was in my car, and he had his inside, so we just used his. But um, after Dave and Buster's the second day. We drove, we drove to a Target <coughs> to get some beach stuff, beach towels, and some chairs and shit like that, and uh, <coughs> we were able to get that stuff, but before we went in there, right next door was a game store, like a video game store, and it wasn't like a GameStop, it was like a classic video game store, which was sweet, similar to like a game craze or something like that. Um, so, that was really cool. We were able to get some really kick-ass stuff there. Um, uh, Sean got, which I thought was really cool, I was kind of jeal jealous about. Sean got, uh, Final Fantasy XII for PS2 in the Steelbook. Um, that was really cool. What sucked though is it was missing the poster. But other than that, it was complete. Um, and the Steelbook was in good condition. There was a tiny bit of wear, like that kind of rusty stuff that still looks good unfortunately um so there was a little bit of wear but it was pretty good condition actually this the disc was like perfect if i remember right uh and then i got 